Hello everyone, I am Essex County Sheriff Kevin Coppinger. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our annual ceremony honoring National POW MIA Day. We are here, albeit virtually, to honor all of our former prisoners of war, our military personnel and civilians who remain unaccounted for, and their families. Today is a time for us to show our support for these brave men and women. It is also a time for us to stand tall with families still awaiting word on their loved ones and let them know they do not stand alone. Our Sheriff's Department is home to the only monument in Massachusetts dedicated to those brave souls still missing in action in Vietnam. Each year, we hold a ceremony at our Middleton facility to pay tribute to the 65 men whose names are on our monument. We honor their service, their sacrifice, and their families. Every name will be read aloud so as to remember and renew our pledge to keep searching and to bring these courageous individuals home. National POW MIA Day is an important day for us, for our veterans, for their families, and for our country. This year, we would not let the coronavirus pandemic stop our annual ceremony. That is why we decided to virtualize today's event and present it to you through social media. This ceremony includes the raising of our flag, the reading of the names, as well as a presentation of our missing man table ceremony. The table is a solemn reminder of the courageous individuals who remain missing in action along with their families who we cherish. I want to thank the staff here at the Essex County Sheriff's Department who have served or are continuing to serve in our nation's military, some of whom are participating in this event today. I would also like to thank Governor Charlie Baker for joining us in this presentation. He will speak in just a few minutes. As Sheriff of Essex County, I invite you to come and view this monument that we are so proud of. It is located just outside the entrance to our main administration building at 20 Manning Avenue in Middleton. On behalf of the Essex County Sheriff's Department, thank you for joining us today and I hope you enjoy the ceremony. Present on. What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the land that we watch were so gallantly streaming. And the Hello, my name is Matthew Nickus. I'm currently serving as a first lieutenant in the United States Army Reserve for the 382nd Military Police Battalion, part of the 200th MP Command. I am also a deputy sheriff here at the Essex County Sheriff's Department. And now, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey everybody, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker here. First of all, I wanna thank you for joining today's ceremony, uh, virtual as it is. It'd be much better if we could all get together and do it in person, but we all know why that's not possible. I also wanna thank uh, Sheriff Coppinger for 
hosting today's event. And I also want to thank everybody associated with the Essex County Sheriff's Department for making this opportunity available. Uh, as everybody knows, the POW and MIA statue monument has been at the jail uh, in Middleton for over 25 years. And for the past few years, it's created an opportunity on this very special day to read the names, the 65 names of those uh, who remain lost but not forgotten. And I just want to say that over time, a number of those folks have been, in fact, had their remains returned here to the Commonwealth. And I remember one time listening to Congressman Steve Lynch talk about the fact that he's made a number of trips to Vietnam, all of which have been about meeting with the appropriate officials in various parts of the country to search for uh, the remains of American soldiers. And he said one of the things he learned during these trips was how impressed the Vietnam government was that here we are decades after the end of the war and America keeps coming back and keeps looking for and trying to find all of those who have been left behind. And the government has said to Congressman Lynch on a number of occasions how impressed they were that it was pretty clear that this country was never going to forget those men who made the supreme sacrifice on behalf of their country and their fellow citizens. And I would just say that today, I think that's the most important lesson for us to take away from all of this, which is we should never forget. And your presence, your participation in today's ceremony is a big statement that you're making to the families of all 65 names on that monument that you're never going to forget either. And on behalf of them and on behalf of the people of the Commonwealth, I just want to say thank you for your presence. Thank you for your commitment to these men and their families. And thank you for once again showing up uh, to express your appreciation and your gratitude for their service and your condolences for the loss that these families feel and the opportunity that's presented to possibly get everybody back home at some point in the future, as long as we don't forget. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Arthur Statesny, Tech Sergeant, United States Air Force Reserve. Westover Air Reserve Base, Chicopee, Mass. And Captain, the Essex County Sheriff's Department, Middleton, Mass. This monument is the only one in Massachusetts dedicated to those missing in action in Vietnam. The monument has symbols to pay tribute to these brave men. A diamond is placed to the left of the names whose remains were returned home after the monument was erected. At the top of the monument to the left is a dog tag engraved with the year 1965. This was the first year of America's full troop deployment into Vietnam. The dog tag on the right is blank, signifying Massachusetts soldiers still missing in action. Each branch of our military is represented with emblems of the Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard. At the bottom of the monument is the USS Constitution, which was the first naval ship to have anchored in Da Nang Harbor in Vietnam on May 10, 1885. We invite you to visit our facility and view the monument. It is located at the entrance of our Middleton facility at 20 Manning Road in Middleton, Mass. Thank you for joining us in remembering those who never came home. Technical Sergeant Michael Anderson. U.S. Air Force Security Forces, 102nd Security Forces Squadron. Staff Sergeant Jerome Jellison, HHC 182 Infantry, Massachusetts Army National Guard. Sergeant Jake Skuzovich, Intelligence Analyst, HHC 182nd Infantry Battalion. We are here to present our missing man table. This table is reserved to honor those missing in action. Each item on the table is symbolic of the heroism and courage of these brave souls. It is our honor to share with you the meaning of the items on the table. The table is round to show our everlasting concern. 
The cloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their motives when answering the call to serve. The single red rose reminds us of the lives of these Americans and their loved ones and friends who keep the faith while seeking answers. A slice of lemon reminds us of their bitter fate, captured or missing in a foreign land. A pinch of salt symbolizes the tears of our missing and their families. The lighted candle reflects our hope for their return. The Bible represents the strength gained through the faith to sustain us in those lost from our country, founded as one nation under God. The glass is inverted to symbolize their inability to share a toast. The chair is empty. They remain missing. Let us remember and never forget their sacrifices. May God watch over them and protect them and their families. Please join us in a moment of silence. Alan Jones Avery, Bruce Raymond Baxter, Eugene Paul Beresic, Kenneth Allen Baruby, Charles Lawrence Bafulci, Warren William Bowles, John Arthur Baronsky, Russell Peter Bott, Everton Carpenter Cochran, Alan Philip Collimore Jr. Joseph Francis Cook, Paul Stephen Zerwanka, Paul Nicholas Donato, Joseph Patrick Dunn, John Stiles Earl, Robert Malcolm Elliott, Joseph Edward Fitzgerald, William David Frawley, Roger Conrad Gogan, Richard Campbell Graves, Joseph Gales Greenleaf, Robert H. Grissom, Richard K. Harper, Robert Douglas Power, John Robert Henn Jr., Henry Howard Heron Jr., David Hugh Holmes, Robert Allen Holt, Leonard Lee Castor, Daniel Martin Kelly. Everett Oscar Kerr. Paul Chester King Jr. Gerald Francis Kinsman. Michael John Custigan. John Murray Lever Jr. Hubert Bradford Lohe. Henry Elmer McCain. James A. Magnuson. Kenneth Dewey McKenney. Arthur Vincent McLaughlin. Carlton P.S. Miller, Jr. Richard Morin. William Francis Mullen. John Francis Overlock. John Robert Painter, Jr. Edward Francis Rogers. James Joseph Sensown. William Mark Smith. Howard David Stevenson, Martin Joseph Sullivan, Robert J.C. Todd, Orion Judson Walker, Craig Houston Waterman, David Joel Wax, Monarch Whites, Wayne Klaus Allen, William Francis Coakley, Richard Alan Fitz, Frederick Thomas Garside, Arthur Hans Hardy, Charles McMahon Jr., William J. McRae, James Edward Sullivan, Edward Byron Tucker, Blair C. Rye.
I hope you have enjoyed this ceremony and will continue to remember those still missing in action and not yet accounted for. I want to thank everyone now actively serving in our nation's military, our veterans, and all their families for their dedication and service to our country. You are our nation's heroes. This video will be made available on Facebook and on our website, www.essexsheriffma.org, if you would like to share with friends and family. In closing, I invite all of you to join us next year when we can hopefully once again come together and stand alongside the monument and honor these brave men in a more personal way. Until then, please be safe, stay healthy, and God bless you all. Thank you. You are not forgotten. You are not forgotten. You are not forgotten. You are not forgotten. You're not forgotten. You are 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 not forgotten.